Do you hold enough Quill for July 20th? As Quilibrium will launch its 2.0 with native token, network being open to developers, and new partnerships being announced. And if you're watching this video, understand you are early, as no marketing has been done for this project, and outside of X.com, formerly Twitter, this project is unknown. So let me explain Quill's mission if I'm invested and everything that's going to happen on July 20th and everything going forward. Now, if you enjoy the detailed altcoin reviews, make sure you leave a like down below. And with that said, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so remember this video is not financial advice and for entertainment purposes only. Nothing in crypto is guaranteed and you could lose all of your money. Stay safe and do your own research. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is what is Quilibrium Quill? because we have not spoken about this crypto on the channel just yet. It is a decentralized internet layer protocol that provides the comforts of the cloud without sacrificing security or scalability. So it's not a blockchain, but rather a peer-to-peer multi-party computation platform as a service. And the data and computation in storage is distributed across many nodes. So it's not a singular point of failure, making it very secure. And with Quilibrium, it's all about going back to the roots of the internet, staying true to the OG crypto ethos that Satoshi Nakamoto would approve of, and in this case, being the new dawn of the internet. Also, a lot of the early Tao investors are invested in this project and stating it's the most fair launched cryptocurrency since Tao. And you can see that when they're refusing to be along with VCs, dev allocations, insider deals. And if you want to actually list a token on exchange, well, the same process as what it was with Bitcoin. And Quilibrium is part of a new narrative being the Internet 2.0 and a known one, which is privacy. And we've stated before on the channel, the cryptos that have performed very well this cycle so far have been part of a new or relevant, exciting narrative are also new in shiny coins and somewhat low in market cap in Quill ticks all of those boxes. Also, the recent upsurge in the past couple of weeks of Bitcoin, there are certain coins I've noticed in my portfolio and just in the market in general that show strength. They're known as first movers. Tyra is one of those and Quill is seeming to be one of those as well. And now on to my fourth point, we have tokenomics and team. Now, the team is the only critique I have of this project. First, we do have Cassie Harden, ex-senior engineer at Coinbase, engineer at Farcaster, and six years of development at Quilibrium. But there's not that much known about the other members. If you know any more, let me know down below. But that is my only critique or one of my critiques about this project. Then on to tokenomics, we have 2 billion max supply, released over the next 10 years. Current circulating supply is around 700 million, putting the current market cap around 188 million. So it's kind of high when you think about this project, it's quite new, there's not actually that many exchange listings, but the same was said about Tau. When I invested around a $300 million market cap, many said that was too high, and it went on to go to 3 billion and beyond. Then on to actually Equilibrium 2.0, which is July 20th. So we have new apps, new partnerships, native token, and much more. And it's also important to note that on July 20th, it could be the perfect time to scale in the next couple of weeks, maybe the next couple of months after 2.0 is here, because an unlock is taking place of around 100 to 150 million quill. So it might be advantageous to wait three days until the 20th, until this unlock takes place. But I feel like a lot of people are expecting that and most people are expecting the price to go down. And if Bitcoin continues this trajectory to the upside, it might not be that much of a decrease as people expect. Also, it's important to note after 2.0, emissions will decrease in accordance with actual network uh, production. And as more data, is required that's going to lower emissions there's over 80,000 actual nodes and they require data and now on to the next point we have competition who is competing with Quilibrium quill well a lot of people are saying that crypto projects are not comparing with quill more so that it's amazon web services and the cloud 
But if you have to say it would be ICP, but Quill has privacy, it's fair launched. There's no VCs, no KOLs. Also compared with Nillion, again, no VCs, no KLs. And this will be launched at the billions. From a risk to reward ratio standpoint, Quill is a better pick in my opinion. And now on to my second last point. There is a price opportunity. Obviously, it might decrease with the unlock on the 20th of July. But when you think about the actual miners break even price point, being around 23, 24, 25 cents, current price is around 20 six also it's not taken into consideration of maintenance cost risk expenses and much more so the price is still pretty good and people were capitulating under 20 cents and um, there was quite a lot of people selling publicly selling their actual bags last point is my investment i personally first bought around 30 cents which was quite a high buy i should have waited for a lower entry point then i entered again around 17 and 19 cents per so I'm just in profit at the moment at these price points. But remember, this is an early project. There's not that much information about it. You have to go out your way to find it. There's not that many exchange listings, quite similar to an early Tau, but take of that what you will. The purpose of this video is to make you aware of the project. You can either accept or reject the information I've given you. Let me know down below, will you research further or is this project not for you let me know down below the green and red flags of this project but that is pretty much it when 2.0 is released and sometime after that when there's exchange listings and more to talk about in terms of who's building on the network more development of apps partnerships and whatnot i will make an updated video so make sure you are subscribed for that but if you made it as far in a video thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one